Hey, John, John, how does Batman's mum call him in for dinner? Uh, I don't know, Rich. How does Batman's mum call him in for dinner? Dinner, 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 Batman. <laughs> Rich and I went to go and see the Lego Batman movie. So, Rich, what did you think? Loved it. And here's five things you need to know. Rich, wasn't it cool how they basically just showed every Batman ever? I know, right? Well, it's great that in like Lego World, it's the one place where you can bring together all the different types of Batman, from like dark and brooding Batman to uh, campy, colourful 60s Batman. They're all there, and it all somehow makes sense in like crazy Lego World. I just couldn't take my eyes off all the big buildings. I know, there's some absolutely amazing sets. It's already eye-popping and gorgeous and colourful. Uh, and vast yeah. sets like Wayne Manor looks amazing. The Batcave looks oh, amazing yeah. with all the different vehicles and all the equipment and stuff. So that's really cool. Although it's not really about like the building uh, in the way that maybe the Lego movie was. Uh, it's not so much the Lego-ness as just being in that Lego world. And there's these great nods to the way that Lego figures actually work in the real world, like the way that they connect to each other or uh, the way that they can't push buttons and that kind of thing, which is great. <laughs> Um, I didn't think the story was as good as the first Lego movie, but it was good that they didn't waste loads of time doing the origin story like they do in so many Batman films. Exactly. It's great to see a superhero movie that isn't beholden to the, uh, the origin story that we've all seen a million times before. But it, it, was, it was a fun story with great sort of moral about friendship. It was a bit frenetic to start with, and then it really noticeably sags like later on when the story kind of kicks in. <laughs> Rich, there were certainly enough references to technology, weren't there? There certainly were, John. And even though the story is all about Batman being the caped crusader, the Dark Knight, this lone solitary figure, there is one woman in his life, and that's Siri. Yes, Apple fans will be pleased <laughs> to know that there is loads of product placement for Apple, because Siri actually provides the voice of the Batcave computer. I'm home, I'm home, I'm home, I'm home, I'm home. Welcome home, sir. And there's loads of other tech as well, like Batman has the bat fax, uh, and you'll also be pleased to know that uh, Bruce Wayne, when he comes home from a hard night dark nighting, uh, he still has the same problems struggling with the HDMI inputs as everybody <laughs> else. And Rich, 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 even Egghead was in there. Yeah, all the villains are in there. It's fantastic. Condiment King and King Tut and the Joker, the Riddler, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze, Bane, all of them. And some villains that we can't actually talk about too much. Ooh. Yeah. Well, we love the Lego Batman movie and you can find out more on CNET.com. To the Batmobile! <laughs> it's the car, right? Chick stick the car. I really dig the leg room. <laughs> <laughs>